Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a launch key in MK3 with Studio One and some of its new integration features. Go to Studio One, Options, External Devices and click Add. Select New Keyboard, type the manufacturer and device name. This is for receiving the keys notes. Select Launch Key Min MK3 for both Receive and Send options and click OK. Now, we're going to set up the controller side. Click Add, select Ma Key, HUI, select Launch Key MIDI IN 2 for Receive option and Launch Key MIDI OUT 2 for Send option. Notice that the colors of the pads are already changed. This is Session Mode in Studio One, thanks to the firmware update. These last pads will control which function the color red pads are going to control. The blue row will set the solo button for the respective track. As you can see, I pressed the first pad and only the first track is solo. The yellow row will set the mute buttons. Now we change the functions here and the pads become red and white. The red row arms the tracks and the white row activates the track. Now to the knobs. Hold shift and select which control you want to assign the knobs. Let's start with volume. I'm going to change the first track volume. With this firmware update, the knobs are in pickup mode. This means that your volume won't be updated until the knob reaches the original value. This will also work with pen. Let's change the track 1 pen. And with the sends. You can control up to 2 sends from here. First, we need to add 2 sends here. Send you is selected. So, when I move the knob, only first send is updated also in pickup mode. Selecting Send 2 now. This works that way in all tracks. This might not be new, but I didn't mention in my previous tutorial. To stop the cursor, you can shift and press play in launch key. If you shift and press play again, it will send the cursor to the beginning of the song. This works with recording too. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more tutorials.